good evening or good morning or good night or whatever it is for you I really don't care so after about a month or so that I haven't recorded anything and mostly because I'm fucking lazy and two I don't feel like it three because it's shit to record anything here and four I'm waiting to get a new place so I can record something properly and now and publicize the channel a bit more because with a measle 25 people or 25 subscri subscribers just doesn't quite feel like it uh, give me will to continue but here I am don't tell me I don't give up easily anyway so we've I think we all know that uh, the Witcher now has a TV show, or um, in this case, a Netflix uh, series coming up, and they promised that they wouldn't, um, let me put this way, diversify it. Well, they lied, because obviously they did. First and foremost, we have uh, Yen. If I recall correctly, I think that's the one they replaced a uh, redhead with an Indian. Yeah, from India. But that's not all. We thought, well, maybe, um, let's give this show a go. At least th uh, there's only one character that they're doing this. But then Fringilla came. And guess what? She is actually getting blackwashed too. Ne I mean, it's part of the story. It's because Gerald fall falls in love with her because she kind of looks like Yen. But no, she is black, and they forced the vi diversity onto that character too but sure fine I'll give it a go uh, at least with a few episodes not holding much hope that it won't suck well it does it getting worse and worse to the point that now I just don't know if I'll even bother watching it kind of like lost in space where they fucking ruined it by forcing diversity into it they could have at least kept the, the original cast the way they look with the with the main with the husband with the main doctor being from Hispanic descent in the original show in, back in the 60s but they didn't they needed to force diversify it so back to the Witcher and here we have another fucking disaster I need to stop cursing but uh, that's a bit difficult because there aren't so many words to describe my I don't know disappointment my disgust on ruining another TV show I mean if they wanted to force diversity onto us like this they could at least create something unique uh, I don't know something for themselves instead of appropriating culture uh, culture from another place which it's mainly white or European descent but here we are back to the shit again so here we have the rest of the cast <sighs> ah for fuck's sake they fucking ruined it. Let's say, uh, there's a two, at least three blacks uh, out the one. It's kind of ambiguous. Oh no, four blacks. Black washing characters. Let's see. Um, no, five black washing characters with one being dubious. I should have prepared this for this, but, um, uh, I kind of forgot. Let's see, there's one that looks kind of a bit like an Asian, and another one that looks, uh, well, another Indian. Yay! 
an European story that happens in medieval Europe. Well, a fantasy medieval Europe. But, no, no, they had to screw this one. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, an analogy for this. It, it's kind of like you're expecting a pussy, but you get a big, fat, hairy ball, sweaty ball on your goddamn face. That's what it feels like dealing with these people and what they had done with the show. And that's not all. I've kind of like, uh, in my spare time, from time to time, as announcements come and go, and I used TV tropes as a guide for this, I created a list of non black washing, yellow washing, Hispanic washing, or gender bender uh, of characters uh, that they have done for TV and movies. The, the list should be showing up more or less. Oh, no. No. This day. Right around here. It should be showing here the list. I don't know how big it is or how fast I'm going to put it there. It's scrolling by. So, mm, I probably should cut this in my, my acting here. Mm, um, yeah, I think it should be about now. Mm, okay, fine. I'll place the image with a quick edit in an image uh, for you to download and share. And I'll place the entire list. I'm not going to update it on my channel as stuff gets released or announced. I'm not updating it. So if you want the up-to-date list... Uh, contact me on Twitter or anywhere else, I'll send it to you. Uh, the image should be on Image Gur or M Gur, I don't know how to pronounce it. It should be there. Uh, it should be up to date, up to this point, up to today, actually, of of all this stuff. I think I may, may have missed quite a few things, a few characters. Some just in rare, rare cases, uh, the gender bending or blackwashing works. Uh, the two that I can think of right now. Uh, wait, I forgot which one was it, the black. Well, first it was Starbucks from Battlestar Galactica, and the other one that kind of worked. It's actually it works surprisingly well is Nick Fury which is supposed to be a white guy but Samuel L. Jackson did a great job and although it's on the list but in my opinion it worked really well uh, in the black washing of the character but I think that's only the two examples that I can point out in my opinion that worked everything else has been a disaster so here, the list is down there in the comments below. If you want it, or you can share it, or anything, just and um, if you ask me why I did the list, well, it's because I keep hearing how ah they are white washing stuff. Uh, so mm, uh, they are not doing black washing as often. So uh, they are doing mostly white washing. So, to prove these people wrong, I decided to com compile a list by myself. It's not comprehensive, like I said, so there's a lot of stuff missing in there, but the most of the things should be. Anyway, uh, the, I'm ending this recording now. I should hopefully um, resume recording if I don't get distracted again. It's, Soon, um, so as Gene Rayburn says, goodbye!